and evaluator for Mr. Uh, Morgan Smith will be uh, receiving. Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster, fellow friends, colleagues, esteemed guests. I would like to start off my Toastmaster's journey with a quote that I hold very dear to my heart by Tony Robbins. It says, setting goals is the first step to turn the invisible into the visible. I know that it's cheesy to start off with a quote. Probably most uh, speeches start off with silly refrains of people wiser than us. But I don't care what other people do, think, say, or think about me. Well, I do, but I don't. But you get my point, right? This is my icebreaker speech, and I won't let and nobody tell me how to start it. Because there's always that person that tells you how to do it, uh, the person that tells you to not do it that way. So just listen there, trust your gut. No, but on a serious note, I'm the cliche quotes guy. I have motivational quotes in the walls of my bedroom, I have motivational memes in my cell phone, in my computer, in my external hard drive. I'm so cliche, I've considered of getting a tattoo of do more in my forearm. So if I ever drift or get lazy, it reminds me to get back on track and focus on my goals. Um, life is precious and we should work hard every day to be better and work on us so that we are prepared to do everything that we want to do. Uh, the past is past and you can't take back that dumb Facebook history thinking about new keyboard words. But what actually matters is what we do each day. So we have to live in the present moment. Learn from the past, plan for the future, but live and enjoy the present moment. You can quote me on that because I wrote it down before looking up on Google and that's why it sounds average and not like it was written by Michael Dell. <laughs> I'm very lucky to be born into a loving household with both of my parents that did their best to provide education and raise me properly. From a very young age, I was told that values are paramount to all we do and to never let go of my convictions if I thought that something to do was right. If you don't stand up for something, you will fall for anything. It's another quote I live by. I didn't make that one up. <laughs> Everyone struggles at some point in their lives. I have too, and it's okay to accept it in public. At some point, we have all experienced that life has turned back on us. Not hit rock bottom, but close to it. I would go on a limb that some in this room might even feel, might even relate to that. When it does feel that life has turned its back on you, smack it in the butt, breathe, and work your butt off to come back better and stronger. Learn from these obstacles and move on because nothing comes from inaction. Literally, no action. Realize that life is anything that you want it to be. Mm. Once you do get to work and identify what you need to do, stop dreaming and start doing. You will be better off. I think unconformity and curiosity are my most valuable traits. From a very young age, I've been pushing myself to be in uncomfortable situations and learn more about this beautiful world. I grew up in a Central American nation mm. of, called Honduras. A country of 8 million people who mostly speak Spanish. I was fortunate enough to go to a bilingual school and get a great education and aspire to become better. I pushed myself hard in high school so that I could come to college in the U.S. and get myself an engineering degree. A feat I accomplished back in May 2016, two years from now. How time flies by. <laughs> and this time I've grown even more. I moved to Austin with no prior experience of living in Texas. I have no social circle. But thankfully, I had a cousin that lived here, somebody that I knew I could trust. And being a Dell was my first job coming out of college. Um, fairly newly corporate environment, which I have slowly and steadily learned to like and learn more about. It was not easy for me, easy for me, but I took action to make it work. First and foremost, I knew I had to succeed in my job, so I drove headfirst into making that a reality. Also, I knew I had to make friends and be involved in the community. If anything, just to keep my sanity. <laughs> so I got involved in ERGs and took up new hobbies like working out, playing soccer, being outdoors. And uh, God, that uh, Austin has beautiful weather for that. And this time, I've carved myself a little piece in this community and very much look forward to what the future has to bring. I matured a lot in this past two years. I understood that it's not the things that you have, but what you do in life that matters and the relationships that you cultivate. People sometimes ask me for my five-year plan. While I'm not quick to give an answer, because life can take many twists and turns, I know that I want to use technology to enable human potential. <laughs> and paraphrasing Michael Bell there. Information technology is our generation's opportunity to make the world better off. 
and it's my intention to add value to people's lives by using my expertise in this industry mm. to help others. Being here in Austin, at Dell, and in this state of mind will help mm. me succeed. I know it, I feel it, and I will make it happen. You can bet a hundred bucks on LeBron James winning those Eastern Conference Finals, <laughs> that I will make it happen. I hope that this breaks the ice and gives you a better idea of who I am, my experiences, mm. and the philosophy <clears throat> that guides mm. my life. Thanks for listening, and I want to wrap up one, uh, with one last quote by Mikhail Barishnikov, one of the greatest ballet dancers in history. I do not try to dance better than anyone else. I just try to dance better than myself. There's always someone better looking, more skilled, richer than you. Just be better than the person that you were yesterday. And be kind to everyone. That's what really matters. You know, this, while I was writing this piece, got me thinking. Maybe I should just tattoo Carpe Diem on my hand so I remember to seize the day. Thank you.